Well, hey guys, if you have a backup generator at your house, periodic checks on that is very important. I'm gonna go check out my dad's now, so come on, let's go check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if this is your first time uh, checking out uh, Project Next One, uh, if you will, please consider hitting the smacking that subscribe and liking and sharing with your friends. I'd appreciate it. Uh, here at our channel, it's all about uh, doing one project at a time, learning things as we go and sharing all that information with you. Speaking of projects today, one quick check I want to do. This will be a short video, but it's an important one, and that is periodic checks with your generators. Now, here, uh, me and my dad both, uh, dad had his Generac installed uh, back end of last year. Mine came in uh, a month or so ago, and we now have it online. Uh, so dad's is, we've had power outages twice since uh, his unit has been online. It has worked flawlessly. We're very, very pleased with it, but, uh, and it also does its weekly running for 30 minutes once a week and so it's time for me to come up and just check the oil levels and I also want to look at the hour and see how many hours it's got on it uh, on this one with it being new uh, we're gonna need to get an oil change in and I want to monitor that so let's go check it out so dad's is a 24 kW Guardian to get into this one it's really nice and easy the way it's done the top just lifts up like so and the front just lifts up and out gives full access to this and then all of the oil things are marked in orange, which really makes it nice. It's kind of, I don't want to say idiot proof, but it makes it easy. And so we're going to do this and check. Let's pull this, stick out. And the oil is so clean, you can't hardly see it, but it is right up to the full mark. So we are good to go there. And then the other thing I want to do and let me bring the camera up here so you guys can see. Okay, so one of the things besides checking the oil that I want to do is I want to look at the amount of hours that's on the system. <clears throat> right now we are ready to run and it's in auto. So we want to go to off. And let's see here. And escape out. From escape, we want to tab down to submenus, which is here. Hit enter. And then we want to go over to maintenance, hit enter. And then we tab over to run hours and hit enter. <clears throat> and you can see it says 1.2 hours. So we are good to go, you know, doing great. And oil levels are good. So I'm going to back out of this. Again, we're going to wait till this gets up to about 10 hours on the system total time, run time. And then we'll do an oil change. So I am going to exit out of here, exit out of here, exit back out of here, and then <clears throat> I'm going to go back to auto, and now we are back ready to run. Awesome. Obviously when you're done, it's just reverse process. This cover has the two pegs on the bottom, it has the little studs on the side, so this slides in the bottom, and then this comes up over the top. Slides down in, locks in, and then this comes right over. We are good to go. Well, guys, I know a lot of times, you know, you put a unit in, it runs great, and you just kind of put it in and forget about it. But just want to emphasize and encourage you guys to, uh, um, as you get time, don't forget to do your routine checks. Check your oil levels, make sure everything's good, because this dude right here, you want it to be ready when it's needed, because you never know when. Again, Dad's hasn't been in for four or five months and we've already had the power grid go off twice and it's worked fantastic. So just want to take care of your stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, remember here at Project Next, there's always one more. And so uh, there'll be another video coming real soon. I try to post two a week. So guys, for now, take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.